Why Communism Failed in Under Five Minutes. The 20th century saw the rise and fall of massive socialist experiments in the USSR, China and the GDR. Socialism was supposed to usher in a new era of abundance and equality. Instead, hundreds of millions of people had been killed by the totalitarian regimes that created socialism. Even at the beginning of the socialist states, there were critics, economists, who knew the dream would fail. But what of the dream of a communist utopia, of a perfect society? Where things were shared not owned. Where goods and services were exchanged freely without money. Where people were equal, not in classes separated by privilege. And all of this would be achieved in a society without a government. Almost a century before the first blood of the bourgeoisie spilt in the Russian Revolution, an unusual social experiment was tried in the USA. A Welsh industrialist named Robert Owen set up a community called New Harmony in Indiana, USA. The New Harmony community created a society closer to the communist ideal than any of the subsequent revolutions. There was no private property in New Harmony, no privileged classes. Government interference was essentially absent. The constitution required equality, and that meant that everyone's time be equally valued, so they had labour notes instead of money. Despite the tenacity of the New Harmony community, their social experiment failed within a couple of years. Why did New Harmony fail. Was it the labour notes? No. Government actions? No. So what went wrong. American Josiah Warren explained the problems in the motives of communism, how it worked and what it led to, published in 1872. Warren says it was impossible for the community to organise labour without property. Even electing a decision maker didn't resolve this. Conflict arose when illness meant that people were not working as much as others. Conflict arose because labourers did not consider music teaching of equal value to field labour, or even necessary at all. The issues could not be resolved by committees, by democracy, or even by asking for Owen to be the decision maker. The community even abandoned any attempt at central planning and submitted to anarchy, but without resolution. Equality cannot be defined in a way that everyone agrees to. It is not objective. The common good cannot be defined in a way that everyone agrees to. It is not objective. Value cannot be defined in a way that everyone agrees to. It is not objective. Labour cannot be organised without property unless the coercive threat of mass violence is used. The facts are that only the most primitive of cultures can realise a communist society. It seems likely these utopian fantasies will persist. Communism failed. Socialism failed. Democracy is failing. 
It's time to leave these fantasies behind and create a better world based on truth. Please share.